Girl, what? Hey, Lola. Anyway, guys, I hope that you are subscribed to this channel. If not, make sure you smash that subscribe button by clicking the red subscribe button. Yeah, click the red subscribe button. Click, 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 click the red. Click, click the red. Click, click. Okay, never mind. Um, and click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And girl, what? If you are not... Okay, I forgot my intro. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Hi, guys. No, wait, wait, no, no. Hello, Lolas. Um, hang on. Hello, Lolas. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you all for being subscribers. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And drop down in the description bar and join the chatterbox. You do have to be grown, 18 or older to join and it is a dollar and 99 cents a month. Come on, a dollar and 99 cents a month. You spend that on bubble gum. Yeah, bubble gum costs about that much now. Days, I think. So anyway, guys, I'm here with baby Noah and I was chatting with a few people and people miss Noah. So I was like, oh, I know I don't show Noah as much as I used to cause I'm a real boy and he be busy and him be wiggling around and all that stuff. So I don't get the chance to show him like I show the dolls <laughs> because Noah is a real boy. So real quick, before I hop into anything else, let me get into a little clarification of yesterday's video really quick. One thing I want to say is when I spoke on the photographs, like using filters, I just want to put a little, this little bit of explanation, a breakdown of that. I am referring to artists mostly that use the filters as far as when they're showing their babies and they're putting them up for sale. That's what I'm saying. I don't watch those. Um, editing photos is part of photography, I think. I don't know. I've never taken any photography classes or whatever. It's one thing when you edit or you use a filter to make them look closer to the real look of what you see in person versus editing to make them look better. So that's what I meant on that part. So anyway, moving right along and I'm hoping to, if you guys want to piggyback off of this, you know, off of that, that video, that's fine. Um, because I actually enjoy hearing other people's opinions and from their perspective. And so um, there has, like I said, there's been plenty of times where I've thought one way and watched, whoa, oh, okay, and watched um, somebody else videos or, you know, read their posts and like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. Look at him. <laughs> So if you guys don't know, um, just so you guys do know, um, Noah is the Willow Asleep Sculpt by Claire Teller. Um, he was actually painted by Claire Teller. Sculpted for, you know, whole nine yards, rooted. Say the whole shebang bang. So, yeah. So, um, although Noah has a bed in here and he has this picture up on the wall, he's actually the baby that never sleeps in here well I ain't gonna say never there has been a time where maybe I forgot and left him in here um but rarely do he stay in the nursery he normally um stay in my room he has a bed in there which I'm gonna upgrade he has a little place he's I've changed it back and forth I actually gave his bed to the nursery the one that I bought for him um, necessarily not just the way I want to display him so I'm looking for a specific like bed for him to match my room decor and yeah so um yeah it's funny how like you know you get babies and for me I'm kind of weird like that some of my favorite babies I don't show as often as one would think um mainly because when i collect my babies i really i know it's hard to believe but i really collect them because i love them and i collect them for me and so and i choose to share them because i'm an oversharer but at the end of the day 
if I was to leave this community, like just up and leave and like, I mean, social media platforms and say, okay, I'm not doing YouTube no more. I'm not doing Instagram no more. I'm doing Facebook no more. Like there would be really not really a reason for me to like be like, okay, I'm selling all my dolls. Like I see people like I'm leaving, I'm selling all my dolls. It's like, and no offense to people who have done that and said that because I understand it to a certain extent. It's like a kid throwing a tantrum, like, I don't want these toys anymore, you know, type thing. Girl, what? <laughs> I ain't getting away my babies. <laughs> Bye, boo. We gone. We out of here. Me and my babies. <laughs> no. But I understand that because sometimes, like, you you be impulsive and you collect a lot of babies because you're in the community and you have the ones that you post in this group and the ones that you post in that group and all this stuff. And so I understand it. That when you get ready to leave and you're like, I'm just going to downsize. It's just not any fun anymore for me. It's kind of like you lose your passion for it altogether. So it's like, I'm only keeping the babies that really, you know, warms my heart, you know, type thing. So I get that. Um, you know what I mean? It may seem like a person is just throwing a tantrum, but I get it. Like, they only want to keep the ones that really mean something to them. But the only thing I say about that, which is kind of sad, is you do that and then you calm down for a minute and you stay away and you miss it. And then you've gotten rid of some of the babies that you really wish you would have kept. So I, my suggestion to people that when you're going through that phase to kind of take a deep breath before you sell off your babies. Um... As I mentioned before, I've sold a few babies and a few of them really, I wish I wouldn't have sold. I mean, who am I kidding? There's quite a bit I wish I wouldn't have sold. But, you know, there are a few that even just to mention it kind of makes me feel bad. You know, so I try not to even go there. And sometimes I put on this like, Child, let's wait for it. Y'all note this, note this. A fake persona, that's like very rare for me. I'll be like, oh girl, I don't care. You know, I sold it, it's over. You know, whatever, I'm over it. But deep down, there are a few that it's like, if I had money, like a lot of money, I would wave it in that mommy's face and be like, listen, I'll give you this if you sell me back my baby. But, you know, um, it happens. Like, I think I'm going to keep his socks on. I could take them off. Like, that's his little feet. If you guys are curious to see his little feet. But I think I'm going to keep his sock on. He's just so cute. You got to get your diaper changed. I forgot about that. So, y'all know, like, some of the things, I don't know what other things that you guys collect outside of, like, that's a part or accessories that's your favorite accessories with the dolls. But one of my favorite accessories with dolls is diapers, if you guys don't know, if it's not obvious. Diapers, pacifiers, whoa, <laughs> it's right here. Um, so these are really cute. They're actually diapers but they're made like pull-ups but they are diapers that's why they're a newborn like size um but diapers pacifiers now I like little odd bottles baby bottles but I don't collect them a whole lot because I don't do a lot of uh, role play with feeding and when I do I kind of do it really quick it's like not that long so I can't show you know what so I'm trying to figure out how to do it without you know change the diaper without showing that and then I I'm trying to figure out what's right and but okay so I'm not gonna put this on him simply because it says it has aloe in it on it so I'm not gonna put this on him it, it literally says aloe right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says aloe. So I'm very self-conscious about everything that I do with my silicone babies, especially because they are 
fully painted all the way versus my vinyl babies it's cloth so i will use these on my cloth babies only or my partials i won't use this on on my full body so we're gonna keep them on this diaper unfortunately i mean i have another diaper here that i could use on him that i had intended on using on him once before Eh, i guess i could But yeah, I don't, anything that have like oils or any type of extra chemicals in it, I'm just not going to use it on him. And so. So yeah, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use it on on my silicone babies but those diapers are so cute and I'm I'm gonna I think um Kingsley have on one now anyways these are cute too they got the giraffes on it look at that boy let me show you guys <laughs> and and a one and a two look at it it's so look look he is like like, um, the other thing is a lot of people don't know that there's a difference in between Claire's so different silicones for different babies. She has the levels to her babies. Like, her kits, like the partial kits are just her regular Ecoflex. Um, nothing really spectacular about, about it. It's nice and everything, but it's not the like I really like it don't get me wrong like it's high quality it's nice I like the way she pours it I like the color that she pours it in um but then like um she started pouring a soft blend for her kits and instead of just a straight Equiflex 20 or 30 and so when she did that it allowed um them to feel like what her standard babies used to feel like like what her dolls used to feel like back in the day like um the zoe's and the um the zadias and stuff like that um but not the marshmallow type like her dolls today so they these are like a different feel than like bryson and stuff so but anyway but he <laughs> i'm trying to hold him i'm trying to figure out what's the best way so if you look look at his how he like he wrinkles really nicely and the other ones will wrinkle and they are nice like i said but it is different it is a difference and oh my goodness oh my goodness and so even if you have the kits of the willow and the willow asleep on willow awake they are you know pour it in that that mix so it's pretty cool um i no longer own a marshmallowy baby silicone baby um so there are some people that pour kits that actually pour in the marshmallow blend in their form of marshmallow blend and i haven't got one of those yet but i would love to feel one one day in person so i'm i can't wait to the day that i get one of you know those kids um for me you know the big a big part of silicone is the feel um but it's also you know they do have oh, sorry <laughs> they do have a different <laughs> level of oh my gosh like that like made my head hurt instantly a little bit when I did that <laughs> they do have a level a different level of realism because the way that silicone just looks like skin you know what I mean so it is different so my room has blues in it now so I'm putting him in the blues to match the blue so he can be an accent color <laughs> 
my baby is an accent color. Um, and it's been, it's, I don't know, like, me and Gabby is always like, gosh, it's so cold in my room. Like, my bedroom is so cold. I don't know, maybe because I ain't got no man in there, but it is, like, always colder in my room than any other room in the house. So, I am not pulling his hand. I'm pulling the clothes, so don't freak out. Um, and you should do the same when you dress your babies. You should do this. And, you know, a lot of people be like, oh, my God, like, a baby's so expensive. I couldn't enjoy it. I wouldn't have... I enjoy my babies, but the thing is, is when you buy expensive babies, the key thing is buying quality expensive babies. Not babies that just cost a lot of money, but the quality isn't there. Because you feel more comfortable with them than even some of the cheaper babies because you know they're made of quality. But at the same time, in my opinion, I just think you should treat every baby as if it was a, you know, $20,000 doll. You know what I mean? I think you should tr treat every one of them like, you know, the piece of art that it is. You know what I mean? I think that you should. It's like when I got my first apartment, guys. Uh, well, my first, not my first, because well, that was my first official apartment that wasn't owned by my family or anything like that. And I, what did I just do? Uh, okay. I don't know where this go. Apparently, it didn't go there. Um, anyway, um, I had, like, a sofa from the thrift store. And I remember my grandmother bought it for me. And I think she paid, like, I don't know, maybe it was a 100 bucks. Um, it was a sofa and a chair. It was a love seat. And it was, like, and I... And I like cried at the counter and I was like, thank you so much, grandma. And she was like, girl, cut it out with all that old dramatic stuff. And I was like, oh, like my grandma like really like just really. I remember that moment because in that moment I was like, my little feelings was so hurt because it was like I was happy. But then she kind of hurt my feelings anyway. I don't know why I remember that piece. Uh, some things you just never forget anyway but anyway so she i had this little thrift store um furniture set and i had a coffee table it was this little wooden press wood probably little coffee table i don't know where i got it from i can't remember that um but it was little it was rinky dink we kind of covered it up you know the, the sofa we put you know decor on the table and we tried to make it our own i mean like the sofa was so <laughs> it was so like terrible now that i look at look back at it that i think the person had like put fabric across it and stapled it to the it looked like the sofa was homemade basically anyway we bought some throws and we you know we put a, you know the sofa covers on them and we we made it our own but the thing was what the point i was getting at is that i treated that furniture like it was top of the line like it was a you know five thousand dollar furniture set like i didn't allow my kid my baby to just jump all over it stand all over it with their shoes on i didn't do you know i didn't let people like just be all willy-nilly on my furniture i didn't sit cups directly on my table you would have thought I had you know garbage but my grandmother said treat your stuff you know as if it's in it's, it's expensive and treat have train teach your children to respect your furniture and your things now because one day you will have expensive things in your house and they will know how to you know Treat it and they won't be all tearing up your, your good stuff. So train them now while they're young. And so I kind of take that concept in life. Like I treat everything like it's the best. Even when like you on a job. Say you want you work in a Burger King. You treat that job as if you're the executive at a law firm. Um, 
and you go in and you give it your best and you're professional and you're, you do, 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 do as you should because it will help you elevate and escalate to the next level. And then also, and I, I, I know I don't usually evoke religion into things, but I know that also when God blesses you with small things, you have to take care of those blessings in order for him to bless you with bigger things. So even when I'm on a job and I, I'm tired of it and I want to leave, I remember that I prayed for that position. <laughs> and then I know that I have to take care of that because he blessed me with it. And then he will bless me with the next level. And it has worked when anytime I start to slacken off or whatever, I tell remind myself of that. And it has worked every single time. You know, either he removed the people in the, the company that I do not enjoy working with that are like toxic or he removed me one way or another. So anyway, that's just my spill on things. So that's the way I treat my dolls from the time I had my babies. If you go back to my very first videos, you'll see I had basic babies that I loved the same way a lot of people think oh you're Claire Teller you're Claire Teller this to Claire Teller that and this person and that person you're all about the big names and da 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 no if you look back at my very old videos I treated those babies just like I treat Noah just like I treat Phoebe just like I treat Maggie all the other ones you know I treated my collection the same way nothing has changed except for the art has evolved and the amount of money that it costs to get dolls on the level of realism that I like has went up and I had no control over that. You think I told them, hey guys, I want you guys to start charging me more money. Absolutely not. So, you know, and that's just the thing. And if you look at my blog, if you haven't, here's the plug, wait for it. Um, Miss Serenity Smith babies.com. Don't do the WW. Just MissRenniesmithBabies.com. If you follow my blog, I think the link is in the description bar. You'll see where I talk about that. I think when I first started out, I came on like, you know, talking like I would have if I was in a workplace. Like, you know, there's certain things I would not say, but I would, I'm very opinionated person, even at work. So it was still me, but a different part of me. And then I started to evolve and I started getting a little bit more relaxed and a little bit and I got too relaxed and I realized I got to scale back a little bit and keep a healthy balance because this is social media. This can be used, you know, against my character and, you know, that type of stuff in my reputation as a vlogger, blogger, painter, whatever, you know, person. So I began to kind of scale back a little bit and keep a balance. But what you see is what you get. Like I am this person outside of the cameras. And I think, you know, you know, some people love it. Some people hate it. You know what I mean? It's just, but it's, it is who it, it, it is what it is. I am who I am. So anyway, I don't know how I got on that. And my video is again, once again, extremely long, but Hey, it's your 10 o'clock. <laughs> it's a 10 o'clock video when you come to my channel you're gonna get a long video okay no 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 rapping is never my thing but I tried um anyway so I think he looks lovely in the blue and I think he needs some photos what do you think look at this tell me he ain't a real boy he that old purpley 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 black baby Mm -hmm. that's a poop 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 that's a real baby I don't care what y'all say y'all can't tell me this ain't no real baby she did that go Clara go Clara go 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 Guess what, baby? Y'all about to, it's about to be a showdown. I got babies, I'm gonna be taking pictures and babies gonna be showing and going out. Ooh, I'm so excited. I'm doing the last layer on Jolie today. And I've been doing like little touch-ups on the prototype. So I, anyway, that's another video. I'm gonna do that in the next video. If you guys wanna see the next video, I don't know. Maybe I'll do a chat about behind the scene. I don't know. 
Nah, I might do it for y'all. Later.